Hey everybody! It is time for more um, coasters. So, and I want to show you the candlestick holder that I made. Um, oh my goodness. That uh, will actually be, what day is today? Today is Sunday the something, I don't know. Uh, 19th, 20th? No, I don't know what it is, but it's Sunday. And this video will be tomorrow, Monday. So for you, it will be like two days before now. <laughs> I have no idea. So anywho, um, this is what I made. So, so this is the bottom. And then, so these are Shabbat candlestick holders, but you could um, get any sized nuts, you know, anything, and you could just make tapers or what have you. So I'm going to zoom in so you can, here, those are kind of distracting. So this has, uh, whoa, that um, iridescent medium from Artist Loft. And it is so pretty. And I, so if, if any of you uh, need some Shabbat candlestick holders or happen to get invited to a Jewish wedding or something, give me a shout. So I'm going to make another one. Um, but for these, I'm going to, for these four coasters, I'm doing um, uh, orange, yellow, deep yellow, cadmium orange hue. And this is Blick, oh my goodness, metallic magenta. Okay, this lid has, alrighty, yeah, that lid, I must not have used this for a while. And even though this is metallic, there is a difference in paint, not me. <laughs> There's a difference between this iridescent medium and like the metallic. So I'm adding that into here because these coasters, when I resin them and they've got that iridescent in them, it's so beautiful. Okay, so this does not, this is kind of chunky because Artist Loft is not known for being um, the smoothest and easiest to work with. But what it lacks in that, it makes up for in price. Um, it's a nice quality paint for a really good price. You just kind of got to up with some of its imperfections um, and as I'm looking at this I'm not going to have enough of this total so I will probably toss in not, you know what maybe I'll toss in a uh, light magenta let me see if all right let me thin that out a little bit more It does make the paint thicker. So if you've ever thinned your paints too much, you can always use that. Alrighty. And then, because I just wanted to see what these three colors would do, um, I'm going to do, even though I've probably done them a ton of times, uh, Prism Violet, um, Blick Magenta. This can't be. So, yeah, Blick Magenta, and then this is Blick Metallic Magenta. That cannot be right. But that is what I have on here. I didn't think it was that much of a difference. Let me see. This is Liquitex Basic Magenta. So Blick is a lot brighter and pinkier. So... And then I 
am going gosh I want to add well I'm gonna add some of that stuff to this purple sorry I really didn't think I would be mixing I would have done this earlier but it just occurred to me now. <laughs> so today was waiting tables day, which is always so much fun and excitement. All right, this does not stir, stir, stir. Actually, this is like perfect uh, size to hold in my hand and stir. So I'm currently, before I did this, put some resin on some already resined pieces that uh, had some bald spots. And then tomorrow I have, because I only have just so much room for um, resin. So tomorrow I've got another round that I need to um, re-resin, which is such a pain in the patootie. Alrighty. And no silicone because that just gives me one more uh, step of cleaning before I resin these, which I don't want to do. <laughs> I guess I should tell you what I am painting. These are MDF coasters, so medium density fiberboard. Um, very light. They weigh nothing. So I've been using these for myself as coasters and they're very weird because I'm so used to using coasters. I'm just stirring this from, um, uh, why am I blanking? Tiles that it feels like there's almost nothing there. It's really weird. And there are four by four inches and then um, uh, quarter inch thick. Look at it selling and I, there is no silicone in there. No need for it. So then what I do is I paint the back of them and then I'll put little felt feet on it. can already see that iridescent medium. I'm just hoping that when it dries, that these colors are very similar. So I'm hoping that when it dries, uh, that there's enough of a difference in the colors. I'm actually going to That's a big, ugly yellow blob I just put on that one. Try and tilt that yellow off of there somewhat. Yeah, I don't like... You know, I was, was going to do a full-on pour with these colors, and I am glad that I sampled with coasters because I don't think I they're fine for coasters but I sure wouldn't want them on my walls I'm not even sure if I like them as coasters
those are those are ugly. Very, very not pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to try and save them by doing a white. I'm going to fill that with white. Let's see if I can save it at all. Much better. Look at all that cell action, and there is no silicone in here. Oh, these are so much better. I'm probably tilting it a little bit off, but I don't want um I don't want to accidentally tilt it on top of its friend. Oh wow, look what a difference. It seems like silicone is hiding in something because these are the kind of cells usually given by silicone. And there's even that none of these have it, so I don't know. Very odd. See what happens when I torch them. Well, nothing much really happens, so maybe maybe that's just how they are. But um, those colors were not good together, so I'm glad that in I'll. I do this even with colors I know that aren't good together. <laughs> Somebody messaged me about it. I'm like, I know that such and such won't go together, but I really want them to. So I'm just gonna keep trying, <laughs> even though it doesn't work that way. Alrighty, so now I've got just this little baby one. Um. Way too much paint for this itty bitty tile. Just gonna I'm telling you, look like this iridescent medium is so amazing. I have never gotten this kind of effect from any other iridescent medium. And you guys have all been hearing about it because I've been using it in almost every pour because it is so awesome. Probably should have painted the tile like purple or something first, but it's 
so pretty. Yeah, I didn't think that would change at all because there's no silicone in that either. But this other one's really changed. Alrighty, so kind of, whoa. From here, you can't really see the shimmer. But it is there, and it is super cool. And then here's these coasters. Which turned out well. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye.